Fortnite Chapter 5 is in trouble. With almost a thousand employees fired, celebs banned from the item shop, and now storyline actors on strike, could things get any worse? That is a resounding yes, because on October 27th during Fortnite Mares, the price of V-Bucks is gonna rise. So now, a thousand of them will cost $9, and 2800 will set you back 23. They're even increasing the price of bundles that already exist, so things like the Final Reckoning and Transformers Pack will be affected in the future. This has upset a lot of players, which is a bad time to be hit with extra costs with the state of Fortnite after a recent update. Whether you're a BR player who's unhappy with the lack of updates, or a creative user who is tired of seeing a thousand tycoon maps every day, the Discover tab is a huge problem right now, with countless map makers putting tons of effort into making unique and beautiful experiences, only to never get recognized due to the low effort content all over the place. It's been a topic of discussion all month, and it's not the only thing Epic is trying to fix before this next chapter. A controversy that's making headlines is that Fortnite was accused of scamming an FNCS winner. Hootrick, who won $200,000 in a major, hasn't received his prize money after it came out that his team had Russian passports. If you remember, because of the financial sanctions on the country right now, Epic can't actually pay anyone from Russia, even people with the supporter creator code. So, when they learned that Putrick and his team were from Russia, even though they had bank accounts in other countries, they couldn't technically pay them. And now they're disqualified from FNCS Copenhagen. Now, sadly, it's not Epic's fault, as they literally have to follow the law, but this controversy has huge implications for next chapter. Someone else they have distanced themselves from is Lizzo. Back in August, Fortnite was selling Pump Me Up in the item shop, which is an icon emote of one of her most famous songs. Well, sadly, this was the worst timing possible, as she was accused of creating a hostile work environment and sued by her former dancers. So as Epic normally does, they removed her dance from the item shop. Someone else who won't be returning is the man who turned Fortnite into what it is today. Donald Mustard came up with the entire storyline and gave us characters like Agent Jones, The Foundation, Midas. I mean, sure he had a whole team he worked with, but the majority of creative decisions came from Donald, and he has officially left Epic Games. It didn't give a reason, but some people are worried it's because Fortnite is slowly moving away from Battle Royale's story and leaning into creative mode. Maybe, but his replacement is nothing to be disappointed about. Charlie Wen, the new chief creative officer, was the guy behind the MCU's visual department. He's also the designer of Kratos from God of War and worked on League of Legends. This guy is the real deal, so I am so excited to see what direction he takes things. Hopefully he helps improve some of Fortnite's crossovers, which have been questionable lately. This season's secret outfit is Ahsoka, which players have been wanting for years. She's finally here, but people find it pretty underwhelming. She has no edit styles or a ship as a glider, and ironically, Ahsoka's pickaxe is a staff from the Clone Wars, but there isn't even an edit style for this version of her outfit, which would have looked amazing. It just feels like she was kind of shoved in at the last minute because she doesn't appear in any trailers, and they literally threw a PNG of her in the artwork. I'll say this, it's still not as controversial as banning OG maps from creative. When UEFN was announced, everyone was excited at the chance to play old maps again, with thousands of players ready to play Chapter 1. That's until Epic revealed that these wouldn't be monetized, and if you tried to make Chapter 2 and beyond, your map would be removed. It caused a lot of confusion in the fan base. If they won't let us play older islands, why shouldn't we be allowed to build them ourselves? To this day, we'll never know. Other companies don't want to be copied in UEFN either, as everyone moved on to playing Call of Duty maps in creative, with clips going viral of matches on Rust. Activision quickly noticed this and sent out copyright strikes to any map creators who were doing this, and now, if you tried to recreate a cop map in Fortnite, it will not end well. And things have not been going well for Epic lately, thanks to the amount of money they're spending on UEFN, the Apple lawsuit, and the Epic Game Store. They officially have started to lose money. Tim Sweeney revealed that he hoped they could do this without layoffs, but it became unrealistic, which is another way of saying it took a risk and it backfired massively. Sadly, the employees are the ones paying the price, with nearly 900 developers losing their jobs. This is insane news, because everyone kind of thought Epic would be the one developer that was untouchable, but now things are really looking shaky for Chapter 5 and the future of Fortnite. It's one of the biggest games in the world, and Tim Sweeney himself bragged about how well they were managed, while other companies were failing. Well, I guess those tweets aged terribly, and so did this emote in the item shop. On the day of the layoffs, Fortnite added Share the Wealth into the store, which in hindsight was a terrible mistake. Not only are developers suffering, but so are voice actors, and recently they voted overwhelmingly to strike against video game companies. Yeah, the Hollywood actor strike is gonna affect your favorite games too, including Epic. Well, that's if it happens, they have permission to do it, but they're still talking with the companies to get a deal without the need for a strike, so we might not see delays after all. Hopefully they work something out so everyone could be happy or else the storyline is in big trouble. Someone else who isn't pleased is Clix, one of the most famous pro players in the world right now. During a cash cup, he was attacked by a stream sniper who was basically stalking him for the whole match. So to prove his suspicions, Clix asked him to throw down items and of course the guy did it. Well except this was also Clix's downfall as he picked up the items and killed the
killed the sniper, so he was immediately banned for teaming. This apparently caused him to miss the next two grand finals just for picking up a stream sniper's pizza box. It caused a lot of fans to be super angry at Epic and the rules behind teaming, even though it wasn't Clix's fault. But a mistake that definitely had someone to blame is the Snoop Dogg controversy. Tidy and Rambunctious are some of the rarest emotes in the game. Well, at least they were before randomly appearing in the item shop back at the start of Chapter 4. The reason they hadn't returned was because of copyright issues with Snoop Dogg and Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, so their sudden reappearance was confusing. Now luckily Fortnite caught on pretty quickly and removed them from the shop, but this definitely wasn't an accident. Especially when you realize Snoop Dogg's emote was right next to the hippie skins. But in the same season, we had Mr. Beast and Fortnite, which was an insane collab. Not only did we get two skins and a whole set, but he gave away a million dollars in a tournament. Not your average competition either, this was a custom created map that felt like Fall Guys, and by the end of it, one person we crowned a millionaire. Except, it looks like they put all their eggs in one basket, so the guy who came in second got no cash prize. If that was me, I would never stop thinking about that for the rest of my life. But a controversy that affected everyone was the return of the pump shotgun, arguably the most iconic gun in Fortnite, after the scar at least. We always want it back, so when Epic finally did it, we all logged in to try it, only to be met with a sharp tooth. It had the exact same model, but was nowhere near as good, leaving a sour taste in a ton of players' mouths. Not the only thing we're desperate to see in Fortnite. Earlier this year, a creator named Hey Stan won a contest to get a custom spray in the game. His idea? To turn Jonesy into Giga Chad, which was loved by players. Even the devs were on board, until Stan delivered some bad news. Epic HQ denied the concept of Giga Chad Jones, not because of copyright, but because of issues with certain communities which abuse the meme and associate it with toxicity. This decision came after months of waiting, and to this day, we're still hoping they change their mind. For once though, it wasn't Epic causing the controversy, but the rival Call of Duty. Last month, COD Mobile dropped a new season with a map called Kurohana Metropolis. After it was revealed, Fortnite players went on social media and immediately pointed out how similar this felt to Mega City. Now, obviously, both locations are based on real-life Tokyo, so that's probably why, but the timing of the release, it's interesting to say the least. But there was one decision by Epic which shouldn't have been that controversial. Earlier this year, players found a Discord bot to let them get insane amounts of XP in a short amount of time, racking up dozens of levels in the first weeks of the season. They could even use the bots to play unreleased LTMs, which isn't as punishable, but regardless, everyone who used them was temporarily banned. They ask me, I think this one was deserved. And they're not the only players to get in trouble. Out of nowhere, before season four, a new account known as Barbie Harp appeared on social media. Suddenly they had insider leaks about a ton of collabs from a new Terminator set to WWE skins, even Jujutsu Kaisen. They were leaking everything, and it was all thanks to an anonymous source who worked for Epic. Except you should probably think before leaking stuff, because the insider was tracked down and fired instantly. Not the first time one of their employees has gotten in trouble. In February, they almost had a huge controversy with Overwatch. Yeah, the last game you'd expect to be involved with Fortnite, but it's all because of this spray, Hamster Cabby. When this appeared in the files, people noticed something was up. It was way too similar to the Hammond spray from Overwatch. Like, not just similar, if you line them up, it was traced. So immediately, the spray vanished from the files, being swept under the rug for months until one day when the game updated. Nothing had changed except for one thing, Hamster Cabby, with a brand new design. It finally dropped this season in the Elias Quest Pack. A cosmetic you won't be seeing is hard Minnie Lee. She got added to the files just a couple weeks ago in preparation for the Rainbow Royale event. We were all ready for it to release until a controversy appeared surrounding the artist of the skin. Harmony Lee was designed by a fan in the community who recently came under some serious allegations, and it's caused the outfit to be removed from the item shop schedule. Her future is completely in doubt. Will this ever release? I guess that's up to Epic. As you can see, this year Fortnite really had some low moments, but also had some highs, and I am excited to see what they're working on for the rest of 2023. Apparently, it's gonna be big. Those are Fortnite's biggest controversies of Chapter 4. It's been Tommy. Make sure to keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.